Plenty of fireworks on day one here in Raleigh, and the intensity remained explosive on Friday here at the 2013 U.S. Open Ultimate Championships. Hey everybody, I'm Evan Lepler. Thanks for checking out our day two recap. You might call Friday moving day here at the Open. Semi-final berths, coveted positions, they're on the line. So get ready, let's jump into today's highlights. Just like semi-final bids, Shade was also a coveted commodity. Boston's Ironside and San Francisco's Revolver. Great conditions to air it out. Teddy Brower Jarris hauls in the full field flick huck from Danny Clark, and Ironside jumped out three zip. But Josh Weissman helped trigger Revolver's comeback. Devin Anderson the score, San Francisco on the board. A few points later, Team USA captain George Stubbs runs down this majestic throw from Alex Capinos. This was a game just jam-packed with highlights. Fast forward to the second half, tied at 12. Revolver's Nick Schlag hits Bo Kittredge. Red up by one. Ironside retaliates. Stubbs with his huge backhand. Looking for Capinos, and he's got him. 13 all. Revolver's turn. Ashlyn Joy lets it go to Bo Kittredge. Revolver back up one, but you know what's coming. Undeterred, Boston in the red zone. Josh Marquette patiently hits Matt Rebholz. And we're tied at 14, double game point. A great chance to win it. Ashlyn Joy with a flick break, just barely eludes Nathan White. Let's take one more look. Revolver missed his chance by that much. And Ironside capitalizes. Stubbs, deep. Brower Jarris is there. Christian Foster running with him. And an impossible championship game preview, Ironside survives and defeats Revolver 15-14 in an ultimate instant classic. From two great USA clubs to some of the US Open's international flavor, Montreal's Memphisto and Denmark's Ragnarok. Two clubs that have been around since the mid-90s. Memphisto in white, dealing it deep for Sean St. John Timmins. That tied it up early. The Canadians keep rolling up the four side for the score. Ragnarok showing that it can air it out too. The floaty backhand and Ragnarok up high to keep it close. But Memphisto, the victor in this tight game, 15-13 in the end. Back to the top American clubs. Raleigh's ring of fire against Revolver. Playing at home, ring deals it deep for Brett Matsuka. But Revolver would bounce back from its heartbreaking loss to Ironside. Eric Greenwood to Zach Travis. And that helped Revolver take down Ring 15-11. Fans of all ages enjoy the U.S. Open. Day two in the mixed division. A Bay Area battle between Polar Bears and Mischief. In the first half, Mischief enduring the sweltering sun. And sending it deep for Kevin Smith. He comes down in bounds. Mischief leads. The team in red quicker to the disc again. Shooting it deep for Chris Doyle. He snags it and shows it off. Mischief with great teamwork all game long. Preethi Nalavati to Matt Crawford. And the Polar Bears suffer their first loss as Mischief prevails 15-11. The third San Francisco mixed team, Blackbird, colliding with Dragon Thrust of Minneapolis. Brian Garcia, a quick pivot, flips to Sally Mims. Three all in the first half. Blackbird with short, quick throws. Adam Farron hits Bars Lang, who tiptoes the goal line. Blackbird up one. Meanwhile, check out this D from Jason Zhang, getting horizontal. A little shaken up, but he's all right. He left the game, he would return. The Minnesota men and women, though, were locked in. Dragon Thrust, Pat Niles, a big flick. Josh Hemish, a bigger sky. Dragon Thrust takes down Blackbird, 14-12. Could Dragon Thrust keep it going against Polar Bears? This one went down to the wire. Jamie Glader in the end zone for Dragon Thrust. The disc deflected, she gets it anyway. But Polar Bears captain Greg Marliov leading the way with great touch on this backhand huck. And on double game point, the Polar Bears came through, downing Dragon Thrust 16-15. Last but not least, day two in the women's round robin. Japan's Mud versus Seattle's Riot. Cody Fong fakes a backhand and unleashes a huge flick huck. Soaring over Rachel Bradshaw, but Kalise Cardenas saves the day. The team from Tokyo wanted the deep shot too. Sending it far, but Ellie Burstein intercepts. Riot takes advantage. 
Shakira Stern with a put and Hannah Kawhi with a catch. The ladies from Seattle surpass Mud 15-9. In other women's action, showdown from Austin, Texas against Scandal from our nation's capital. The team from DC wearing white, Kath Radcliffe. High release backhand, Amy Wickner with a finish. Scandal took control early with highlight reel plays. An unbelievable layout from Alicia Kramer. One sick bid good, two is better. Hannah Giles, that sacrifice, and the cameras love it. Sandy Jurgensen finishes it, finding Quinn Farrenwald. Scandal rolled past showdown 15-5. Scandal hoping to stay cool against Riot. Angelica Boyden airs out a gigantic flick. Contact in the end zone and the foul call on the restart. Heidi Marie Wiggins, high backhand, finds Boyden for the score and Riot rules against Scandal 15-8. One more round of pool play on Saturday morning, and then the semifinal matchups will be set. Thanks for watching our day two recap. I'm Evan Leffler here at the U.S. Open Ultimate Championships in Raleigh, North Carolina.